Hello guys, my name is Manjunath and uh, in last video we ran uh, some uh, containers uh, that is nginx uh, and uh, in this particular video enough with the theory part and let's just uh, try to build something using docker. So you just have to go to any kind of folder in your uh, system and uh, let me just create new folder here and I'll name it as uh, my website. And in my website, I'll be creating one simple HTML document and you can use whatever the editor you are using. I'll be using VS code. So I have to right click and show more and open with the code. If you don't have Visual Studio installed, Visual Studio code installed, you can use any kind of editor which you have it installed or you can go to Visual Studio code and download it also. It's freely available. So let me just create one basic HTML document and in VS code if I just uh, type exclamatory and if I just press enter it will just print out the basic HTML uh, tags uh, and in this particular title I will change it to docker nginx website and in here I'll just put uh, my name uh, Manjunath Shanai you put your name in your uh, system when you are trying it out uh, and I'll just create one paragraph saying uh, hello from docker nginx image and let me just save it and now you have to run it usually if you are using html you can directly double click on this particular file and you can access it or you can even like go live using live server if you are using visual studio code but we are using docker so we have to do everything in docker way so let me just open up terminal in this particular folder you can just type here terminal and click on new terminal in this particular terminal i can run same commands which i was running here so you can also run use this particular integrated terminal so that uh, we'll be having little bit better experience when we are working with the actual coding project let me go here and create one file we'll name it as docker file without any kind of capitalization or anything if you just type docker file and press enter it will open up this particular file like how we wrote here certain things we can write it in here only that while we are creating image like that's the custom image we have to define blueprint by ourselves only and whenever we are creating blueprint we can use existing blueprint for example in this particular container we just need to update this particular website so we can use existing nginx image only so we just have to type from and we can type uh, nginx that is the nginx image and we just have to type latest so that uh, it will get the latest image and from nginx we want to move this particular file into the container so that we can just type copy and uh, source will be just dot slash index dot html and in the destination uh, container it will be user slash share slash nginx slash html don't think i'm too smart because i know this particular thing by heart i just went to docker hub and i just typed here nginx and in this particular page we'll be able to see some information related to nginx and from which place yeah from here i got uh, this particular line which i typed here and if you just save this particular thing uh, that's enough for us to create our own custom image so let me just type some docker command in order to create our custom image this is the first image we will be creating using docker so just uh, a little bit attention here docker build dot we have to name this particular image and we can give whatever the name which we want i just type uh, my custom nginx so that uh, i'll know that it's my custom nginx not uh, somebody else's nginx so i'll just click on enter and it will create the image it will just copy all the required nginx image and it will uh, just copy the index.html from it and it will paste it in uh, this particular uh, folder of container and now we can create our own custom image using this particular thing so let me just 
do docker image ls so that we can see whether this custom image is available so this custom image is available and it just got created 27 seconds ago that is when we ran this particular command so let me just create the new container using that image it will be same as like how you were creating that time docker container run dash d will run it in detached mode meaning it will run in background and we can give port any port we can give from our local machine and in the server it will be just i mean in the container it will be port 80 only we won't change it and we can name this particular thing anything we can name it as my website and it will be using custom nginx image so we have to give this particular name that is my custom nginx or whatever the name which you have given my custom nginx and if i just click enter it will run the custom image how do we know that it actually ran and uh, will show this particular file we just have to go to port 5000 before that let me just see if it is uh, running or not docker container ls and it will show that uh, this particular image is running uh, with the uh, port 5000 uh, and it will be pointed to containers port 80 that is nginx default port so we just have to go to localhost colon 5000 and as whatever the name you have written it will be shown here uh, and it's coming from uh, docker's nginx image that is the custom nginx image which we have created right now so that's it for this video guys in next video we are going to run one uh, custom node.js image uh, so that you can get started with your no any node.js project so that's all for this video and uh, see you on the next video bye bye